Now we're back here at Aurere College with Miss Zeng who teaches art and design and your class is working on something at the moment that you guys could be making at home. All the instructions are online but could you talk us through it? Yeah, so um, today we are going to be um, doing some stencils on t-shirts using Duracell. So what you need is um, Duracell, a Sharpie or Vivid, some tape, uh, a paintbrush, paint roller or sponge roller, um, fabric paint, a t-shirt and a plate to roll your ink out on. Okay, cool. So the first step we've done here already, which is doubling up the Duracell. And then we've got our silhouette design. Yep, so you can get this off the internet, um, print it out, tape it onto the front of uh, the Duracell. Face down. Yep, face down. And then what you do is you um, trace on the back. Yeah, well I've already done that with my shape. I've downloaded like a wee robot man and uh, I've traced it out and I've um, cut the shape out, as mm -hmm. you can see there. And I've got the eye, and I just need to cut the last eye out, which we'll do really quickly. But uh, once I've finished cutting this eye out, um, so then what do I do then? Okay, so after you do that, um, we're going to start peeling right. the stencil off. So cool. Peel that off, and just Ooh. slowly get all the details. So um, if you have lots of details like this, um, you can just work your way around the stencil. Okay, okay. it's a good yeah. technique tip. Yeah. And then you want to stick it onto your t-shirt. Yep. Adam's decided not to put it in the middle. He's going to be a little bit alternative. I'm going to put it on the <laughs> bottom right. So just lay it down and just get the centre line up as well. And just stick the centre bits down. Like I'm sticking my tongue out. Whenever I stick my tongue out, it means I'm <laughs> concentrating. Oh, all right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So with this design, we've got two eyes as well. There you so go. We're gonna stick the eyes. Oh, great. Um, oh. 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 <laughs> there you go. Right. My robot can see. Right. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now we've got this on. Yep. So just push it down. Make sure it's stuck on. Yep. And then um, take your paint. Yeah, get your paintbrush, yep. scoop some um, fabric ink out, and then start rolling it. This is going to be the fun part, right? I can tell. <laughs> is there a technique for this? Or yeah, you just go for so it? it's, oh, hang on. Oh. It's easier to just lift the roller up. Yeah, just to get it nice and even. All right, sorry, I just want to and... get on this to, onto this T-shirt. Okay, so what you're going to see first <laughs> is that um, you're going to have to build the layers up slowly because it's not going to go straight okay. on. So you okay. need to be patient, Adam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, easy as that. Yeah. You're getting the idea? Oh. Oh, we've got an announcement in the classroom. That's exciting. Um, yeah. So once we've finished this, we've got the final product right here, which is a cool owl. owl. So yeah. that's not the one you were working on, but it shows you that you can do any stencil yeah. that you like. And you can download them off the internet, and we have got all the instructions online as well. So thanks for showing us that. Appreciate it. Very cool.